Here is how you can do the speed dash effect on CapCut. Film yourself running into the video frame and then run out again. Now in CapCut, split the video before you enter the frame because we are going to need an empty background shot. Split the video again once you're in the frame and then delete the unwanted part. Do the same steps for the part where you're running out. Now take a screenshot of both of the clips where you are in the frame. You can use any background removal lab to remove the background of the photos and then add a directional blur or a motion blur to the photos. Once you save the photos, come back into CapCut and then add the first photo. Click on overlay and then click on photos and then choose your photo and add it. Put up. it into position and then push the overlay a little bit to your left. Cut out your unwanted part. Add a motion tracker to both sides of the overlay and at the last mark, take the overlay out of the frame. Repeat the same step for the other part and then you can also add a dust overlay if you like. Once you're done, export the clip. After exporting the clip, open CapCut again and then add the clip you just exported. Also add a motion blur effect to the clip. Once you're done, also add a shake effect or a camera shake effect to the video. And now after doing all of that, you're going to get something like this.